It has officially been a year since I uploaded my unboxing video of my Canon N50 camera and I thought for today's video it would be really cool to talk about the camera, what I've learned the last year, and what I recommend it to people today. Hey guys, it is Faith. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be doing a tech review about my vlog camera. I have learned a lot over the last year about this camera. I have vlogged with it in every video since I unboxed it, which has made me learn a lot about this camera. So I thought today we would talk about everything I've learned and what I've changed in this last year as far as settings go, equipment goes. So let's go ahead and jump right on into it. Okay, so throwback to about a year ago, when I first decided to buy this camera. I upgraded from a Canon G7X to an M50 because, you know, all the vloggers were using this camera at the time and it was about time that I got a new camera because I've had that G7X forever. I also wanted the opportunity to be able to switch out lenses on my camera because with the M50 you can change all of the lenses versus the G7X where it's just a point and shoot camera so you don't have that kind of like flexibility. So I wanted a wider angle lens and I actually did by one a few months later and we'll get to that in a little bit but honestly I was a little nervous for this upgrade because I do videos I do vlogs and stuff but I don't know a lot about like camera settings and I didn't want to change my settings every time I filmed a new video whether I was doing a sit-down video like this or I was like vlogging about my day what I really liked about the g7x was it was easy to just grab and go and just hit record so I kind of wanted that in my new camera as well and after doing a lot of research and Knowing that a lot of vloggers use this camera, I felt like it was going to be really simple to just learn and be able to pick up and start vlogging whenever I needed to. And I don't think I've dived through like all of the settings that this camera has, but the one setting that I changed immediately after posting that video was that annoying little sensor setting. There's a little sensor in the back of the camera and sometimes if you propped your camera up on something, the screen will just go black and you can't see your viewfinder or anything. So I quickly, quickly changed that setting. So I looked it up on YouTube to see if I could turn it off and I saw Shod Cannell, I uh, think Media's video about like the whole beginner pack of using the Canon M50 and that helped a lot. So I'll link that video down below in case you guys are like researching about getting this camera and you come across this video. I'll link that down below because that's actually a really good like deep dive and like a beginner's guide to using this camera and it helped me a lot because again I'm not really familiar with like the settings. I don't know what like ISO means. I, I know I should know. <laughs> But I just don't like I, I don't get it I will change the exposure and that's pretty much it but the setting that I currently use on my camera is the movie exposure mode and it's on auto not manual because I want the lighting to adjust as I'm going to like darker areas or lighter areas while I'm like vlogging I don't know when but at some point after I got my camera I changed like the video settings to the point where like most of my videos in this last year were a little bit blurry or like a little more grainy when it was like a darker shot and I don't know what I changed to do that however I did recently up my sharpness because you can customize filters I think I messed with something with the filter so I customized the filter to make the picture a little bit sharper and I think it's like back to normal either way I really like the settings that it's at right now um, and I will put a b-roll shot of like what my customized settings are in case you guys are interested but it's pretty much like a default setting I just up the sharpness but I feel like the settings that it's at right now it's perfect for both vlogging and sit down videos I don't have like a cinematic vibe to my videos it's I want to give off a more like chill like we're sitting down and having a conversation or that we're hanging out together so I don't want my video quality be like super crispy and like super cinematic so I feel like this is like perfect for that so let's dive a little bit deeper to the camera equipment I use now so I bought a 10 to 18 millimeter lens so this is what it looks like like completely like whited out and then I'll zoom in all the way and that's as close as it's gonna get um, I believe the kit lens it goes to like 15 so it's like that and I can't deal with that I want something a lot wider I want to get the most amount of space in the shot as much as possible I feel like this again creates a more chill vibe and it's definitely an upgraded touch for sure versus the little like 
that. I mean, we can get up close and personal if you want, but I prefer a wide angle lens. It's perfect for, again, vlogging and especially like cleaning videos as well. I can get as much space in the screen as possible. But I will say that this is an STM lens, which I learned very quickly that that is not compatible with this camera. So what I had to end up doing is getting a adapter for my lens. So in between my camera and my lens, I have an adapter. So this lens that we're using right now can work on this camera. So I will link the lens and the adapter down below. I think the adapter was like $40, I'm pretty sure, but I got all of this on like Amazon. Now in the unboxing video, I talked about an external microphone and I was kind of testing the audio to see if I really needed the external microphone. And I honestly decided I'm going to keep the microphone on the M50 just because the audio sounds a lot better. And usually I'm just sitting here in my room anyways talking. So the audio is a lot better. And if I end up going out, I either take my phone or I take this camera and I just don't use the microphone with it. It and that's just how it is. The audio is not like the absolute worst, but for me personally, I find it better with the external microphone. But if you do want something to upgrade a little bit in your videos, I definitely recommend upgrading your audio. Also in that video I made a year ago, I talked about buying third party batteries and whether those were gonna work out for me or not. I did have experience in the past with my G7X that the third party batteries did not work at all. But ever since I bought those Power Extra batteries, I have just been using them and they've been working amazing. They haven't like died short on me. They're super easy to charge as well. They come with a charging um, station and cable. Honestly, I would go for those third party batteries if you don't want to pay full price for the real Canon batteries because those can be so expensive. So I'll link those down below as well. Okay, now let's talk about the biggest con about this camera and it is the size. At the time when I bought the camera, I kind of knew, yeah, it was a little bit bulkier, but you know, it could fit in my everyday purse. But that was before I bought the wide angle lens. And the wide angle lens is a lot bigger than the kit lens. I do have a camera strap attached to the camera, so I can kind of like carry it like outside of my purse if I wanted to. But I always end up like going for my iPhone to film because I mean, that camera is amazing as well. And I'm usually just taking content on my phone already. So it's just easy to use my phone but that is the biggest downside with this camera you can't really travel with it you might as well take the g7x if you want to travel or if you want to go out and about with it so the question comes up what I recommend this camera if you are like me you're a content creator you're a vlogger you like videography this is definitely a great upgrade from your starter camera however if you are getting into content creation or getting into YouTube or videography I wouldn't start out with this camera especially if you're a vlogging, I would definitely recommend the G7X, maybe even the upgraded version, because you're going to learn a lot about the angles that you like. And you have that flexibility to take your camera literally anywhere you want. It will literally fit in your purse just fine. And especially when you're just starting out and you don't know much about video, it's a great camera to just pick up and hit record. Versus this camera where you kind of need, you know, the lens, the microphone, the settings, all of that. I just feel like this is a great like step two from that, you know? So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this year in review. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow my socials down below. Let me know your thoughts about the Canon M50 down below. Do you have one? Are you looking to get one? Let me know. Let's have a conversation in the comments. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video really soon. Bye.